I guess that's what, that's what I see a lot of the times when uh when I rewatch myself on the on like videos. I'm just like I could freeze at any moment, and then I see myself doing. That's crazy. <laughs> I think it's like, what do I not struggle with? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> everything. Struggle a lot with everything. Um, but retention, bro. Retention, it freaking sucks. At an abstract level, I think I struggle a lot with patience with myself um, and my growth. Holding my pictures, because, oh, and also getting ahead of myself too, and being patient. I guess consistency like in every aspect of it. Like some days I feel like I'm doing really well and some days I'm pretty off. Some days I want to dance. Some days I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play video games all day. <laughs> I guess, yeah, consistency in a nutshell. It would be this, like I get tense up here when I dance. Like, and I've talked to a lot of choreographers about it. Like, yo, like, how do you do this? Like, no, let's just practice, right? Gotta relax. I'm like, man, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how y'all do that. I think confidence is a big one. Um, again, I like to be in the back corners at times. Um, even the back center is kind of a challenge for me. I think it's the confidence, uh, especially during groups. Uh, there are less people that are performing and more people watching you, and it's hard for me to get that confidence to go all out and to. Uh, execute the choreo choreography as well as I did during the whole entire class. Not freaking myself out when um, when we do groups, which is really funny because you know we like <laughs> as a mentor, like we make our students do it all the time. <laughs> I struggle a lot with having faith in myself and like being confident because I'm not used to. Um, like being surrounded with so many people who actually like put more commitment into this and not just like a dance club. Psychologically or mentally, one of the things I struggle with the most is like comparing myself to other people. I think that's really, really natural. Definitely trying to get through that just by like being more inspired instead of intimidated. Comparing myself to someone else. I feel like I'm not hitting a move too hard. Sometimes I feel that Maybe my control is not so great. So then once I stopped thinking, I started to feel like there wasn't a struggle. So I just try to be more open about things or like take things in as it is. Oh yeah, um, learning the choreography like um, at the same pace as the others. And then when I watch like other people, they're like, oh, so they're like, I don't know, they feel like so natural. I'm like, ah. well, I need more, more practice. Like someone said, it's I'm either, either I'm like super fierce or I'm like in my feels and I'm like sad and simp mode. So I need to sort of, anything in between that, anything other than that, like I struggle with that. And retention. Let's go with that, retention. <laughs> Always retention, I think. Uh... Your mind just gets so foggy sometimes from a long day of work, especially for dancing um, at night. So then I just try and eat snacks <laughs> before I dance. But at the same time, like sometimes I overeat. So then I just end up feeling really slow. I think it's really hard to just stay upbeat and energetic all the time, especially when you're doing a set and you're practicing it multiple times over and over. Sometimes the energy drains and you stop to keep going. Freestyle. Yep. <laughs> like still kind of like learning how like my body moves because um, I don't really freestyle as much as I should. So there's certain times when I feel like I'm doing something and then when I watch a video, I'm totally not doing it how I imagined it. So yeah. <laughs> um, in a creative setting, I think uh, I've been a bit more into freestyling as opposed to choreographing, choreographing um, just because I feel like creating a piece is almost a little bit harder for me just because I'm never like, I feel like I'm never satisfied with like the way things combine or c come together, but uh, yeah. One of my dance goals is to be like a international choreographer, instructor, that type of deal. Um, the thing is not a lot of people teach 
how to do that. Like you go to class, you learn how to improve your dancing, but no one goes like behind the scenes and teaches you how to like market yourself or how to um, you know get booked for those. When you do get booked for those, how that system works, like who do you reach out to, uh, that type of stuff. I feel like no one really explains that unless you like you know someone who's already doing it and ask. But there's not like a it's not talked about a lot in dance classes. So uh, I feel like that's what I'm struggling with because um, I'm making more connections, improving my dancing as much as I can, obviously, my teaching, um, but just like if the opportunity arises, I feel like I'd be at a loss for what to do and like how to go about that. Performance, maybe facials, cause like I kind of have this one facial like, oh, kind of face. Like even though it's like, I don't know. It's just like that one facial. It's like. Is that the facial? I guess that's what that's what I see a lot of the times when uh when I rewatch myself on the on like videos. I'm just like, I can freeze at any moment, and then I see myself doing. That's crazy. I really struggle with breathing. For some reason, I just forget how to breathe when I dance. Um, yeah, so I never like end up pausing whenever I dance. I kind of just like rush through it, and then it makes me look like really really sloppy. Probably grooving. Not gonna lie, cause. Whenever I do the back group or front group, I feel so stiff and it makes me look look awkward. I struggle with speed and controlling my arms. And in class, it's, what do I do with my arms? Do whatever you want. <laughs> or like, it's free. And you're just like, okay. And then because of that, I'm just like flailing it around and I personally don't like doing that, so I'm trying to um, get better with controlling my arms. Constantly just looking at myself in the, in the mirror and uh, I don't actually like try to represent the piece with my face but tr nothing else. So basically it looks like I'm kind of dead, but in reality I'm not. Probably performing, like I think I, a lot of times I'm so focused on like doing the moves that I forget that I'm supposed to be like embodying someone, you know what I mean? Or like a character. Bringing my own personality into the moves and trying to execute it with intention and understand that every movement is what the choreographer intended to do. I don't really know counts because I learned dance in kind of an unconventional way. I just learned through YouTube and I just, um, it was just like slowing down the music and stuff so I never really I feel like people who know counts have a musical background, and like I don't have that. Um, pictures. Uh, I'm very flowy. I have a very contemporary background, and it's very hard for me to like add some strength into it. When you're doing ballet, like they're always telling you to like have soft hands. Um, so I, I always like have like these little like weird like little. I don't know. It's weird. So I'm tall as. Oh. Frick, I'm tall as frick. And yet, I got all this arm space, space, but I still dance like a T-Rex. Package like all of it into like one thing. It's just my ego, because I feel like there's like a lot of things that just like, it just stems from like me and like how I see myself. Um, being able to put my emotions into dancing, sometimes you're told to leave hardships outside of the studio in order to focus but sometimes you need those hardships in order to have more emotion in your dancing. I think I'm in my head so much uh, so like and this like just being in my head kind of um, affects everything like my retention or in my timing. Um, I think in dance it's just easy to get into your head a lot and I love performing but as soon as there's like a camera or as soon as I'm like trying to put on a different persona that I know is not super natural for me, it becomes a lot harder to like express myself naturally. Um, and so just like caring what other people think is always the hardest part of dance for me. Like this goes for everyone, but getting in your head, like you are your worst enemy in a sense because like you judge yourself so much. But I think getting past that barrier is like the key to like start really enjoying dance. So as long as you get over that, and especially for me, I feel like dance is just gonna be like super fun from that point on.